Foundation Fighting Blindness presents Beacon Story, Lance Johnson, in partnership with Genentech. Welcome to the See Through Podcast, a podcast that creates transparency on disabilities and the champions with them. I've learned so much about myself and the visually impaired community as a whole from doing my podcast. It's probably the best thing I've ever done for myself. Lance Johnson does his podcast from his home in Brooklyn, New York. I interview anyone in the disability community because I think there's a lot of overlap when it comes to accessibility issues. Even people without disabilities and people without vision impairments, if they listen to my podcast, it's going to plant a seed and they're probably going to learn more about the disability community as a whole, visually impaired community as a whole, and they're going to be a little bit more empathetic of where we're coming from. Growing up, I saw my mom living with RP and she was very dependent on others in terms of transportation and getting around. And I could see the frustrations within that. RP is retinitis pigmentosa, a genetic eye disease in which peripheral vision is slowly lost. I was diagnosed with RP at age 12 and I didn't want that for myself. So I decided to make the move to New York City and take matters in my own hands because I still have quite a bit of vision. Like I'm in the process of losing my vision. There's not many places, I hate to say it, in the United States that are accessible where you can rely on public transit and get around easily. Lance is a video editor and cuts social media content for big brands. Social media has kind of taken over the, the video landscape, so it's a, it's a good career to be in right now. I used to shoot professionally, I was a videographer. Lance explores under the Manhattan Bridge. I just was moving slower. I couldn't see quite as well on, on our shoots. With that said, I still shoot. It's just for me now. In Chinatown, he shoots with his 35 millimeter film camera. Another big advantage of moving to New York is the fact that I've gotten married here. You know, I met my wife here. She is brand new to the visually impaired world, as most people are. You know, someone that close to me, sometimes she'll even forget and I'll miss a step or something. And so it, I'm even having to teach her and we're both kind of learning what works for both of us when it comes to living together with my visual impairment. Lance hugs his dog, Ruby. I'm a huge proponent of research and finding a cure because I like to think of future generations. If I have kids and they inherit my art, maybe it will help them. Right now I'm editing and I'm adjusting and I'm adapting as I go, but I don't regret my decision to go this path because what else would I be doing? That's how I look at it. For more stories like Lance's and to see how you can help, visit fightingblindness.org.